Hey guys, what's up? And today we're back in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and we're going to go through how to install mods, back up your save file and how to enter dev mode, which some mods do need. As always, I'm going to keep it super simple and any questions and leave them below in the comment. Of course, any links or anything I tell you will be in the description below as well. First up, before you mod anything, you should back your save game up. So this is how you do it. You head to C drive, users, Windows username, save games, Kingdom Come 2, and saves, as you can see here along the top. That is what you need to do. Click on saves, and then copy and paste these two files to anywhere on your computer as a backup. If you're struggling to find it, go down to your search bar at the bottom and type run. This little box will come up. Type in this, of course, it's in the description, and click OK and that will take you to the same location. Now that you've backed up your save file, we're going to look at how to install mods. First up, we need to create the mods folder in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. So what you need to do is open Steam, click on library, type in Kingdom Come, right click on it, go to properties, go down to installed files and click browse. That will then bring up your Steam library file. However, if you want to go the long way around, it's in Steam, Steam apps, common, then Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Right click, go down to new and click folder, or you can go up here and click new folder at six and two threes. When it comes up, rename that folder mods. So you can see I've already got mine up there and then click enter. Leave this open for the moment because this is where we're going to put our mods. So the first thing we're going to need is some sort of zipping or unzipping software. I recommend 7-Zip. It's just so easy to use. So just head on to 7-Zip.org and download the file. So now that you've got your unzipping software, we're going to head over to Nexus Mods. Please bear in mind that you will need an account for this. So just set one up. It takes two seconds. Once you've got your account, head over to the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 mod page. Go down to here and it'll show you new today. So any mods that have just come out, any new this week and popular and popular all time. Usually you're just going to leave it on popular all time and we'll just select the best mod out there, which is unlimited save and two. As always, just have a read through the description just so you can understand what's going on and what you need to do. Head up to files, then click on manual download and click on slow download and that will download the file. So once you've got it downloaded, open it up in 7-Zip and it'll look something like that. Go here, open up your mods folder. And then what I love about 7-Zip is you just click and drag. On other ones, you have to like extract and stuff like that. On this, nope, just click and drag across into your mods folder. And that's the mod installed. It's as easy as that. If you want to remove a mod, just right click and delete. And that mod will be then removed from your game. And finally, we're going to look at dev mode. This allows you to cheat within the game. So certain things like no clip or something, if you're stuck. Also, some mods do need it, like this only duels an easy combat mod. So again, you want this mod, always look down here because it'll probably tell you what to do. We're going to head back into Steam. We're going to right click on Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. We're going to go to Properties. We're going to go to General. We're going to go to Launch Options. And all you do is type that in, so dash dev mode, all one word. And that is how you get Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 in a dev mode, super, super easy. So I've shown you how to back up your save game, how to create a mod folder, and how to enable dev mode. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got to say on this one. So I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.